talk about your persistence and your small contributions which you can make uh, to you, your life and the nation. I will keep my talk around that. Uh, and I'll give you a, a very uh, brief intro about me. Uh, I come from a very, very normal uh, uh, family. Uh, my mom and dad both are into service industry and today. Uh, and they were the best motivators I ever had. The reason they never supported me. <laughs> they never wanted me to be into entrepreneur, I mean, to become an entrepreneur. Never. So, uh, before even I talk a lot about it, uh, one thing should, I should tell you in the beginning. So, even today, I mean, my mom and my dad believe that I work for Webit, which is actually my own company. So, they believe that my partners are my boss. And I'm okay with it. Because that's what satisfies them that okay, my, uh, my son has, is doing a fine job, he's doing well. And I actually think that the rest of the things I'm doing in my life, being in investing or doing events or talking at a lot of conferences, is just because I kind of have fun with it. Uh, so, yes, so I'm an employee of my own company. Uh, but yeah, to clear it pretty much here, I am an entrepreneur. Uh, so, my journey uh, of talking about this the road not taken often starts very, very beginning in the school itself. Uh, but I'll not take too much, too much of time from there. Uh, I had a very easy life. Very easy, easy life. Uh, my, uh, I have a younger brother. We used to play. My parents had everything given to me which I wanted. Uh, studied in good school. And I'm an engineer. Okay, I forgot to <laughs> Most importantly, I am an engineer. Uh, so one thing my dad told me whilst I was uh, you know, in, in my school, in 12th standard, I was getting to 11th standard, sorry, uh, that women in every five years, a human being should take a risk. One risk. So now, now it is up to you, you want to take up science, take that risk of failing, or you want to take up something else, probably which you can do better. So now this is the same thing, Papa has challenged me. Right, so, uh, so how do you say it? Uh, right? Now it's, it's tough now. How is the attitude problem with your father? No, I'm going to take science. So I did that. Uh, went ahead, and I was, I was teaching in studies. Uh, uh, I got a uh, 86 percentage in my 12th standard. There are people who scored even better here today. Uh, and now it's time for that, you know, the so-called, uh, you know, time of engineers, aspiring engineers of giving AIEEE, JEE, and what else? Uh, I also gave VIT, and so on and so forth. So my mom told me that, Vivian, I have uh, spent at least 28,000 rupees only on your forms. So better you get somewhere. <laughs> or you go out somewhere. <laughs> I said, fine. Uh, but I was never interested to go and take a coaching. Per se. And I did not. So whatever I could study on my own, I did. Uh, so AI triple bad. J E don't even ask. <laughs> I don't even know that. I mean, is it even beyond crows or not? Uh, but then uh, VIT. I mean, it's a pretty popular college in our uh, country. I got through it. And I don't know, I mean, the, the, the way the guy was telling, I don't know who checked my paper. I got through it. And I was really happy, came up to Dad and said, Man, Papa, they <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, got a course called as P Tech Nanotechnology. Right? 2008. Uh, Joint VIT. Two weeks, no idea what's happening. <laughs> Trust me. I, I actually didn't have any idea what aerotech is. Nobody in my family is an engineer, so they, neither did they. Uh, the only reason I went into VIT was because you know I, that was the only option you know which kind of I had and was reputed. And I had to give an answer to that. So now uh, one thing which I realized in those two weeks in VIT is that dude, you're not be, you're not going to be able to be a good aerotech engineer. You just don't know about. It. Just can't learn about it. I gave up. Uh, the, other, the reason probably I gave up was also because I wanted to be a computer science engineer. Uh, when you get you know uh, ranks in seven digits or eight digits, 
you learned in computer science, right? Uh, so then it reminded me again what my dad said that in every five years you should take a risk. So it was not even two years that I, you know, thought of taking another risk of quitting the IT. So two weeks I should start up the IT. Back home, fees just to give better service training. Mummy, I'm not doing any special things. But if you're hungry, you're not hungry, right? You don't have an option. Uh, and now I don't know where do I go. But now in the entire community, or probably everybody in my family knows that women has gone to, to do, do engineering. I have to do something about it. I finally got an admission in a college in Punjab. Uh, my mom and dad are still not happy about it. They didn't even come to drop me. Uh, yeah, she was keeping on calling me. Uh, so on the day I had reached on my own to Punjab, my dad from somewhere, he came down to my Punjab of my Kitran Vibar. Right? So he came down uh, and he said, if you want to quit this, don't come back home. Don't come back home. I have transferred 50,000 rupees in your account. You are on your own. That's it. Uh, so that was the second risk which I took. And I went on. First year went on okay. I had two supplementaries. Uh, we call it re appears. Okay? Uh, and both in math, mathematics. I'm bad at maths. Yeah, people, I mean, I am an Indian investor now, but I'm still bad at maths. Hence, I have a team to take care of my money. Uh, then, what happened? Uh, so, during my third year, there was an orientation session happening in our college by our chancellor, and it was an introduction, I mean, interaction with them. Uh, I had a, a friend. Oh, sorry, my greatest enemy uh, in my class. Uh, well, not take his name because it's being recorded. Uh, he's, he's a big name in the industry today. Uh, so he, you know, took up the mic while I was talking to uh, Chancellor Ma'am. He said, "Baby, there go. Abhi tak coding to aati nahi hai. So let's not talk about opportunities which you're going to get in the college for yourself." And he was right. Uh, E. Baldur Swami is one book which all of us love, have to love, people who are computer engineers. Uh, apart from the Hello World program, I had no idea what to do. Trust me, I never could code better. I, I just couldn't. But am I a CS engineer? Yes, I am. How do I prove it? Am I excited about technology? Yes. I am damn excited about technology. Anywhere I go across the globe. Uh, so it was a public forum, and he said this, and it hit me. If you might be thinking from the next year onwards, I would have started talking on the Guru, uh, E. Bhagavad song. Trust me, I did not. I couldn't. I could not. Uh, and uh, there was this so called popular company which every engineer wants to be in Google, which the other lady was talking about. Uh, I am their biggest fan. I am their biggest fan. Uh, I got in touch with a lot of people working in Google. I said, how do I do something which is into IT and I don't know coding? <laughs> uh, so there are a lot of replies which, which actually got. So I had a trick of, you know, also mailing to people. Uh, it was, uh, if somebody's name is Pippin Babu and he works at Google, his ID would be either pippin.babu at google.com or pippin be at google.com or pibbin at google.com or babu.pibbin.com So all the iterations possible, I identified 18 people who work you know, in developer relations program. I identified 18 people of them uh, and did all type of competition combination in the email ID And well to everybody. So I think uh, all of the 70% of them bounced back and few of them clicked. Out of them, four of them replied. So all the iterations possible, I identified 18 people who work you know, in developer relations program. I identified 18 people of them uh, and did all type of competition combination in the variety of the And well to everybody. <laughs> so I think uh, out of 70% of them bounced back. And few of them clicked. Out of them, four of them replied. 
One of them was Mr. Van. He was heading developer relations in the US for Google. Got it. Yehi banda chahiye. Right. Uh, then we had, a, you know, we had a Google Hangout, you know, with him. He said, "Cow, do you still need to learn something about technology?" So he started guiding me a little with people around his team, uh, with his team, and uh, it went well. So my first uh, change, or probably the first thing which I ever think I've done good in my life, was that I got placed in Google. But do I see it now as a very amazing thing which I've done? No. Anybody can do it. If somebody like me who can only do hello world can make it, anybody can do it. So was I great? Not at all. But then uh, the second thing which came, and I wanted to answer to one of my few of my friends who were part of that particular event that day when I was told that women you just can't code anything, so let's not talk about your career in IT. I want to give them an answer back. So probably this was one. And then 2013, uh, November, I was ranked amongst the top five best kids of India by India today. Okay, so there's a catch here. I don't know who what. I wrote back to India today that can you explain. <laughs> So I, I, I shared the cow page uh, along with uh, Mr. Sachin Mansal, uh, the clip card guy. Uh, so his I was sure. <laughs> Q. Why me? Uh, the reason that I probably I did not realize it till then, I was working with a lot of villages across Punjab to train them, train kids how to code. They thought that I am a risk So I said, fine, I'm fully marketing for Billy Gay. Let's capitalize on this. Uh, I'll now take you uh, two years back from that placement thing and all. Uh, that's where I you know, thought of taking another risk in my third year because uh, my parents had given, started giving me very less money because I was spending a lot. You know, like, those are for billing and mining. Do whatever you can do. You with this for throughout the month. Which is definitely not enough because And the reason why it came down to 2000 rupees was because I had, by now I had 5 real years. And then my college by then had started this, you know, amazing and amazing, uh, uh, you know, activity of sending the results to home. <laughs> oh, bad luck. Okay. So I had started my first company when I was in my third year engineering called Less Solution Hub. Uh, I started it with the notion that okay, I will definitely try to make some money out of it. And also help, you know, several students, you know, in the, the college and around who need help in building amazing projects. Right? So what did I do? Uh, I I reached out to a lot of engineers who had just passed out from my own college and were amazing developers and coders, architects, so on and so forth. I said, uh, can you, you haven't joined yet in any company and your joining dates are so and so. So I got that information from the placement cell. Uh, and I told them that if you help me, you know, in building projects for the final year students, this is what I can give you and, and you're definitely contributing back to the society of students. You know, you kind of put them into a social dilemma which was with them, I have to be Right? Uh, this clicked off really well. 18 days from my uh, calling my company a startup today, 18 days it was old and I had uh, 128 queries on my email box. I had no website, I had nothing. Reason? I couldn't go to a website. Uh, but email is chalani hai. 128 uh, queries, I only charge them 1000 rupees each. Made decent about it, out of it. And out of the 128, I would deliver only 6, sorry, 78, 76, 
76 projects I could get it built and you know give, give, it, give it to students in thousand rupees. So typically you can say that 78 logo ne sir paise deke apna kaam karwaya aur apna project mein ek rate only thousand rupees. So that's where I first they first started. Uh, and then the another risk which I took, the third risk which I took in my life, uh, was when I got an offer to join Google, and I had an option of continuing this brand because I was able to reach out to another four colleges in Punjab. Uh, now I, you know, it came back to me again that now if I do something wrong here, I was afraid. I admit, I'm, I'm admitting I was afraid. Ki is baar nahi kar se nikali na. Uh, and I succumbed to my fears this time and I sold off my startup and went out to take my job. I got shifted to California. Uh, but that job within that 18 months, I only worked with Google for 18 months. That 18 months gave me real good exposure you know, of traveling around 18 countries, sorry, 13 countries by that time and meeting a lot of people, uh, talking about their achievements. It gave me a reality struck again. Like, jinse bhi tum mil rahe ho, sab tumse achha kar rahe. Aur wo kar rahe ho, tum shayad karna chahate the. Fourth risk. So, uh, 19th March, uh, 2015, I resigned. Just for a reason. The only reason I gave is I want to go back home. That is it. Uh, within what five days, I had my tickets booked and I was back in India uh, on uh, 3rd of April. I remember this because I keep looking back on my passport. That when did I come back? Where have I reached? But when I came back, I was excited again. I was excited to start something where I can, uh, you know, give it to my parents, my my my, my brother that bhai tera bhai bada bhai jo hai, beho kuch nahi kuch sahi karta. I came back here. I you know tried building a couple of other startups around tech, non-tech, events, so on and so forth. Failed. Failed. Uh, I had made some money in the U.S. Used that. I was back on being on minus 56,000 rupees on my HDFC credit card. Uh, I have no idea now what to do. Now, if I go back again to my dad and ask him that give me money, I do, you know, live my life and do something else, he will not. I was afraid, I am still afraid of my father a lot. Uh, so my alarm can ring for maybe two hours, I will not wake up. My room is on my third floor. My mom and dad is on the ground floor. My dad just gives me a, 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 a voice from there, Vivian, and I wake up. And that. But it's fine. It's perfectly fine. He actually does it almost every day. And I get, I wake up every day. Uh, so it's okay. He's an alarm for me. Uh, but I wanted, what I wanted to talk about here, I mean, talking about all of this, uh, I went on to work in corporates even after that. I joined a company called as Bloomberg, Steria, uh, Lego, so on and so forth. And keep leaving them, I kept leaving, leaving them a lot of times because I was not having fun what I was doing. Uh, what I knew that what I want to do is to be around technology, facilitate it and help people build something around it. That was the only, it's a very vague idea which I had because I was not being specific. But somebody said that, your idea might be big, wrong, but it's your idea. You own it and you are your hero, right? I tried to my own, to be my own hero. That's how I, you know, uh, built a company called as Markup, which was around technology, its promotions, events, so on and so forth. All said and done, you know, now it was you know, time where you have some money in your account. And now you have to figure out that what you want to do about it, with it, right? So there, there is this one famous, you know, quote, uh, which is just my 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 favorite since my childhood. I heard it in my school. Uh, I studied in a convent school. Uh, it was that 
your deeds might be a drop in an ocean, but without it, the ocean would be a drop less. I said, fine, I have limited resources, limited knowledge, limited tech capability, but I can do something with it. So that's where Webbit came into the uh, So we thought that, okay, let's try and use technology to empower startups, to empower government, and to help MNCs use both of them. So today, Webbit is done in uh, seven countries across the globe. We fund a million dollars every year to a startup in every country. Uh,